Hi everyone, Fisher MN here, and today I'm going to talk to you about fishing gloves. Now you might wonder why in the world wear gloves while you're fishing. Well, I have two reasons why I wear gloves when I'm fishing. The first one is I'm out so many days in the summer I want to be protected from the sun on every part of my body. You'd be hard pressed on my channel to find a video of me fishing even in the hottest weather in short sleeves. There may be a couple, but not many. For whatever parts of my body that are exposed to the sun, I'm always wearing very heavy duty sunblock. Just to be careful, just to keep that sun off of me. Always a good thing to be thinking about because I know a lot of you are on the water many, many days in the summer also. The other reason for wearing gloves would be that it can protect you from an errant hook or anything else that can happen as you're landing a fish. So what I have are the three brands of fishing gloves that I wear. Now a couple of them you probably have heard of before and the third was actually a nice surprise to me this summer. So let's get right into it. The first brand that I wear is Columbia Sportswear. So Columbia Sportswear makes two types of fishing glove. They have their more basic terminal tackle gloves and I call these kind of sun gloves. They don't have a ton of features but what they do is they keep the sun off of your hands. They also have a little bit of grip to the um, inside of them. I don't know if you can see that on video very well. But um, so it gives you a little grip when holding onto the rod. But these are great just to keep that sun off your hands. I've worn their sun version of the gloves every year since I've had my kayak and I find them really durable. These are a little more affordable than the next pair I'm gonna show you. So uh, right now, you can check the date of the video on their website, Columbia has these terminal tackle gloves, their most basic gloves, regular $30 on sale for $22.50. I did some research on Amazon Amazon has a price range of $22.50 to about $28. Um, what I will tell you is Amazon actually had more colors than Columbia had. So if color is something important to you, you might want to check out both sites if you're looking at these gloves. Okay, so we had the terminal tackle gloves. These are the Terminal Deflector Zero gloves. Now, if you know anything about Columbia sportswear, the zero refers to the material. I have some shirts made in their zero material, and it's infused with a way to keep your body cool as you're fishing, even in the highest of heat. And the back of the gloves, actually the whole gloves are made of these, of the zero material, but the inside of them has a synthetic leather that's sewn on top of it. Um, so these have a little bit more protection as far as hooks. I think a lot of the deep sea guys use these for line because the line is very dangerous if you're working with those uh, big fish on the ocean. I will say they're pretty, pretty spendy. Last year, I believe when I bought these, they were $50 a pair. This year, it looks um, like their regular price is 40. And of course, last year when I bought them, I had some rewards points. I had a gift card because I'm not usually one to spend $50 on a pair of gloves, but I did want to check out their best gloves and they came as advertised. They fished really well. The only thing that was a disappointment is the synthetic leather has started to pull away from the zero fabric. Um, I'm not sure if it's a size issue. One um, thing about Columbia is they have a small medium and a large extra large glove. And that large extra large, a little bit tight for my kind of fat hands that I've got. So something to think about as you're um, picking out a pair of fishing gloves. Next, I'm going to show you what I considered last summer's best deal. And that is the Aqualung gloves. And I found them at Sportsman's Warehouse here in Minnesota. I did some research even on the Aqualung site. And I can't find them even on their site. 
So I did a little more research and on Sportsman's Warehouse site, I found some gloves called Stolquist and a person had written a review about how great they were and they said that the Stolquist gloves are now made by Aqualung. And here's what's great about them. They were durable, they've got some nice light fabric, much like the Columbia ones had. They have a synthetic leather on the inside to give you a little more protection from hooks. And the price is amazing. These gloves on Sportsman's Warehouse site are $12.99. So a pretty good bargain when you're looking at fishing gloves. And um, I fished about a half a season with them. And I have to say, they're comfortable and they did the trick. And as you can see, I even bought another pair. So if you're looking for uh, just some gloves to wear, they aren't super stylish. This was the only color they came in. But if you want some protection for your hands, this would be a great option for you. Okay, our third kind of gloves are the buff gloves. Now, I, you notice the gloves I'm showing you aren't just out of the package looking perfect. Isn't it nice to hear a review of somebody who's actually used the product? I watch a lot of them online and people are just taking the stuff out of the box saying what they hope the product's going to be like. Well, guess what? I've been using these, especially the buff ones. I've had these for about three years. And the nice thing about these is they're in still in great shape. Whenever they start smelling a little funky, I just throw them in the wash. They wash up great and they've held, the, held up over, over the last three seasons of fishing. And I wear them quite often. Um, the nice thing about the buff gloves, once again, they got the light material on the back. They've got the leather on the inside for protection. They also have little, um, they call them accordion fingers. And that just helps with some mobility when you're wearing the gloves. I've never had a problem with them in the highest of heat. Um, don't even notice they're there. Uh, another thing to think about when you're wearing any of the gloves that have the, the leather on the inside or the synthetic leather on the inside, um, they really help with the rod grip. Sometimes when you're catching a lot of fish, that slime gets on your hand. These really do help to keep a grip on the rod. Okay, so how much do the buff gloves cost? Well, I looked and the buff Elite gloves, which are similar to these, these are old, so they've got some newer models, are $45 on the buff site. If you go to Amazon, those Elite gloves are between $30 and $40. Amazon has this um, strange thing sometimes where different colors are different prices. So, 30 to $40. Okay, so here is your tip of the century. Um, if you're looking for a great pair of gloves, which these are, I would highly recommend them, and you don't mind like a darker green color, they have this exact pair. They must just have a few left on their site. When I say they, I mean Amazon right now for $12.95. So when I was looking at them, $12.95 a pair is a great deal for these gloves. So I actually bought two of the last eight that are there. They said there's about eight left. So check the date of this video. If you catch it, you might want to get right on there and buy a pair of these. These are called the Schoolin Buff Gloves and they're in like an olive green that they have. So there you go, there's your extra tip. The sizing on these are great. Um, they actually have a XL, double XL. And these have fit my hands probably the best out of all the gloves. So if you got a little bigger hands, you might want to head towards the buff gloves. Well, there you have it. Those are three different kinds of gloves I've worn fishing over the years. Here's a little taste of what they look like on the water.
All right, there you have it. My first product review on my channel. Let me know what you think. Are you interested in more of these? I'm only going to review things that I've used over the years because that's the way to do it. Get it out there in the field and test it. And then if it's something that's working out, pass on that knowledge to everybody else. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope wherever you're at, you're safe. And I hope to see you on the water soon.